I'm playing on easy, and the only thing I have is a lot of money. But if I played, if I unlocked everything, and I played it on hard, does that compensate for? There are scratch marks almost everywhere on the wood, but they do not look like the marks a reef would make. <clears throat> Cheat all, all you want on your second playthrough. But that's the thing. See, that goes back to my, there's millions and millions of games out there. Why play one trying to get to a certain point when you can experience it all from like the middle or the beginning? Because that's, that's the goal is to experience it in one shot not have to go back and play a second playthrough that's what the people that like that spend cage. like 200 hour, hours in it's one game broken. which there there's certain game games that are worth doing like if this, this game had from the expansions the new games plus escape, all that stuff you could do it run away, just like in serene so stop buying chance. so many yeah i could stop buying so many right now and i would still have at least 150 games off the top of my head that I t can't name, but if I looked at my list, I could add them up and they still would be all games that I want to replay or play for the first time. Oh God, what is that? Ah! <laughs> Alright, here we go. Oh, hey. Let's go! It's like a demogorgon. Yeah, you guys go first. Oh. Ah! Well, oh, uh, whoops. Wrong thing. Yes, yeah, that's the guy with the 50 game back. Like, that's what I mean. I mean, like, like, dude, whenever I get to the point of playing Witcher 3, 100%, I'm modding the crap of that, out of that game. I'm going to experience that game at the fullest extent because I've already played that before. I've never played the, the, uh, all the, uh, DLCs and everything. Um, so, I, I've never played it on PC either. I, I played it on uh, Xbox. Oh god. But, dude, whenever I do get to don't mod that, it's good just the way it is. No, I am 100%. My Geralt is going to be the most powerful Geralt I've ever seen. I played that. I You said only do it on your second playthrough. That would be my second playthrough. Nah, I probably would do everything. Other than, like I said, no 100%, uh, no unlimited health, no unlimited stamina, just upgrades. That's all. That's all I ever do. And like when I use mods in a game or like cheats in a game, it's just for the upgrades. It's not. It's not like to sit here and do one hit kills, or like the only time I do one hit kills or like unlimited health and things like that is if it's like such a grind like something that i'm like yeah this would take me three hours or more to do it the guardian who was locked up on the boat no 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 i i played witcher 3 on xbox and my brothers had no means of saving their lives or the ship alas let's go back and explain this to the admiral the captain's journal will serve as proof nice such a grind thinking like assassin's creed odyssey exactly that was the one game and that's why i was teleporting all over the place because yeah that game is fun but it was becoming very grindy it was becoming like just to do the um uh, just to do the the atlantis dlc you have to go kill this person go kill that person go like yeah, I want to experience it, but like, not when it's like that. Yeah, so. Plus, you have that. Dude, they want it. 
Assassin's Creed Odyssey, great game as it is, absolutely love it. But in that game also, for double XP, if you want that double XP, you gotta pay for it. With mods, it's free. And you can do two times, three times, four times, five times, 10 times, 20 times. You could hit level 100 or whatever the max level is in one kill if you technically wanted to. I didn't do that, but I did put it on two times at some points. I did use unlimited health at some points. Like, because that game was very, very grindy. Still loved it. Still really enjoyed it. But it was only those moments where it was becoming more of a hassle than it actually was, like, entertaining and fun, in my opinion. I liked the gameplay of that game, but I can't do... Personally, I can't do, like, 80-plus hours doing that kind of stuff. That just would become very, very, very repetitive for me. It's so bad it makes me break my rule. I was so tempted for the 10 times to be honest, just so I don't have to worry about leveling. Exactly. That's the, that is the one time that I definitely started using that is when, especially when I was playing through the story, I remember I got to like level 22 and it was like, oh, you have to be a level 25 for the next mission. And I was like, are you kidding me? Like, I gotta go do side quests. I mean, yeah, if I wanted to spend that much time, I would. But I was like, you know what? I can just put on like 10 times, get one kill. And that's what I did. I put it on 10 times. I got one kill. It bumped me up to 32. And then I was all set. I went and did the next mission and it continued instead of having Decided. to do a side mission what can I do for you? to keep me level. Regarding the mission you entrusted Captain Vasco with, we have come to give our conclusions. I'm listening. We examined the shipwreck and the surrounding area. A creature they carried on board managed to set itself free. An enormous beast. It made a hole in the hull. I'm trying to get face tattoos like that we someday. Can only find dead bodies. Alas, I was expecting it. May the sea be their shroud. We shall not forget them. That Did you point find there. anything? The captain's side quest. tells the tale of the ship from their departure to the sea. They rent. Thank you. Technically Vasco. side quests because they're basically it forced you to do them. The Tribal tattoos on your face, more. nice. And rest assured, we will never try to be a not one of those creatures. They are too dangerous for our ships. Our honor is safe thanks to you. What you have I will say Okay, thanks. Uh, company Vasco to the tattooist. Oh, so he's gonna get a new tattoo. Tattooist. Now, I heard of something about that recently. They said, is it tattooist or tattooer? I have come to receive my tattoo. And they said, the, Admiral should have informed you. the Indeed, professional Captain. tattooer. I think tattooer, well, but seat. tattooist you works too. But he is literally just like, both of them works. What do you think about it? I feel more naught than ever. Great. I can't see it. Congratulations, Vasco. <laughs> what did he do? He's now friendly. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Arter or artist? <laughs> artist, obviously. Tattooer. So are you saying tattooist is the correct way? Um, let me actually read fall relationship levels yeah that's what i want to know so what are the relationship levels ba -ba -ba -ba. faction reputation and companion relationships and both function in similar ways but with the subtle differences factions are reputation with entire groups often influenced by ch uh, choices and consequences or completing side quests uh it doesn't really say your companions you improve relationship unlike faction your companions don't usually give you items instead they give you more quests and eventually even more improve 
even improve your stats. Taking Vasco as an example, once you reach a high enough relationship with him, you get a bonus to your intuition. Each companion provides a bonus to a different stat or skill. Okay, that doesn't tell me how high it goes. How to ra romance everyone. <laughs> you can start a romance with Kurt, Ciara, Afra, and Vasco. We don't have Afra. Afra yet. And it tells you how to do it, but I'm not going to. If anybody, Ciara. <laughs> Unless if Af is Afra a, gr a female? Afra will increase science. Vasco increase intuition. Kurt is craftsmanship. Afra is science. Ciara is a vigor. And Petri Petrius is charisma. Still doesn't help. So there's still one more companion I'll be getting at some point then. I really hope that the this game comes out with like new DLC and stuff. Cause I, I feel like this is like a perfect game for that. Okay. Now let's go to Constantine. Finally. Logs, talk to Constantine about the ancient ruins. So Constantine is our cousin, and he is also the ruler of this area. I'm going to head out, get a coffee, play some more squad. All right, Pat, thanks for stopping by, man. Hey, I appreciate you chatting with me and debating the whole mods thing and uh Happy to see we'll play you, some squad sometime soon oh, you really don't look well maybe Have friday night if i finish this no, no, before then it's nothing if you're on you know that i've always had a weak stomach my nausea will leave me eventually you wanted to tell me something we were not able alas to stop the clash between the forces of the alliance and Siora's after clan. this then he grabs some water at the village in the battlefield too late the queen fell. Oh, wow. I'm extremely sorry for your loss, princess. Thank you. Time soon for sure. My All right, maybe this weekend. Survived, we'll see. Fortunately, and we are recovering from this tragedy together. But our clan was extremely weakened by this battle and by recent events. We shall keep a close eye on the Bridge Alliance and their undertakings. Rest assured. You should know that the battle took place in the middle of ancient ruins. The ruins were quite strange we discovered a fresco that i'm certain was crafted by continental hands really i wish there was a way to clean and your how armor ancient are these ruins could they date back to the first landings of the bridge alliance they date much farther back than their arrival would explain my mother and my grandmother have always known them siora told me of a legend that spoke of them about a people from the sea that were vanquished there do you think it was the Norts? It is not our custom to found a landlocked settlement. We have our islands and it is enough for us. If they are ancient, perhaps your people once practiced older customs. This story is troubling, but it reminds me of something that I once read in the reports of Lady Morange. You should go and find her. Perhaps she could tell us more about them. Very well. Anything else? Anything else? I'm going nah. to leave now. Look out for yourself. Always. Okay. So, question uh, Lady Morang. Morang? Morang? Let's go find out. Alright, she's about 30 meters away. Uh, I think she's actually. Oh, uh, no, no. I remember now. house hey good day dear sir happy to see you she's very in helpful such fine health how can i be of service what do you know about the ruins found to the northwest of here <laughs> the site that the natives call did a kidnadagase that is not how we pronounce it but yes we are speaking of the same place <laughs> your language is difficult to master but i find it fascinating uh, to answer your question 
I had countless questions about the place when our explorers and scouts first brought back sketches. Intrigued, I went there. I noted the architecture and their decorations. It is certain that they bear a striking resemblance with continental constructions, but they are more ancient. Too old to have been recently built by the Bridge Alliance settlers when they first set foot on the island. I even questioned the natives, but they only spoke of a people of the sea. My first thoughts went to the Norts, but they're not known for building large towns, less so cities. There are other ruins on a cliff to the east of here. Perhaps they hide the key to this mystery. Mm -hmm. I hoped to organize an expedition, but the region is dangerous and hard of access. We explored mines at the bottom of the cliff, but we were not able to find an access to the plateau. If the mystery of these ruins intrigues you as much as me, it is in that direction that you should begin to look for answers. Can I help you with any other matter? Uh, nope. My lady, I have to go. Bye. All right, um, I'm gonna go grab some water real quick, so that way I can just get this done and then we'll continue. So, BRB.
All right. Okay, back into it again. So, go to the old mine. Crazy how many main side quests they kind of give you from the beginning. Um, hmm. Firearms deal more damage. Uh, I'm going to hold off for that right now. Yeah, I'm going to get the uh, magic healing. So is there 12 abilities here? One, two. These are just easy unlocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. Ah, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, so yeah, there is. So technically, I think the game kind of wants you to eventually unlock everything if you put that much time and effort into it. Is that that literally fills up your entire uh, skill slot? Uh, real quick, I, I do want to look up so. Freedfall. What is the max level? Is it like 250? Has anybody reached it? Uh, maximum level you can reach in the game is 90. However, if you want to achieve this level, you don't you don't want to complete the final quest. What you need to do is avoid doing the final quest and continue grinding the way against the many spawns of NPCs. Whoa. See, that's what I'm talking about earlier. There's no planned DLC for the game. Oh, really? For any players hoping to grind up to the highest level to prepare for the next store expansion, you're going to find yourself solely disappointed. Oof. So, huh. you literally, by the, by the time you finish the game, you actually have to grind, grind in order to keep uh, leveling. It's interesting. Okay, well, at least that's good to know. Even more of a reason to unlock all the abilities. But as of right now, I'm going to wait. Uh, just a Halfway level 11. There's 80 levels to go. 79 technically. I don't remember reading how long the main story actually is. Okay, so we need to go right here. We can check the uh, this guy real quick to see if he has any. He does. Until power two. Oof. He has some pistols too. Some weapons. Uh. Would pick that up. Buy and equip. Higher stuff. Whoa. I uh, gladly. Helmet, nah. Elegant, nah. It's kind of a down. Uh, yeah, it, it's a, it is a downgrade. Actually, I mean, you lose the. I might take it, cause I get the loot chance. I'm gonna take that, actually. I think that's the same armor I'm wearing. Gonna hold on to that because of the craftsmanship. Uh, better armor. 
no resistance, better balance, though. What am I at right now? I might. Yeah, I think they look better, too. Yeah, I'm going to take those. Necklace. Magical shield. I've yet to learn how to upgrade stuff, too. Hold off on that. Con actually, no. Consumables, I do kind of want. Major health po potion. Uh, gladly. Major resistance. Uh, antidote. Armor. Great amount of armor. I'll take that. Haze potion. Oh. Increases your stealth. That's pretty cool. Fury magic. Is there a greater magic? Major magic. That's what I'm looking for. Thank you. Major fury. Thank you. Stasis on enemy and explosive radius. Okay. I'll probably sell some stuff now. Uh, pistol. Yeah. Old Inquisitor. Yeah. I don't want to rock that. Jeez. A lot of. Second in command. That. That. Sell the crap gloves. Same thing with the boots. Once that. Um, it's a lot of junk to sell. Okay. Is there. I feel like there's something I was trying to do. Something else I was trying to pick up. Can't remember now. What can we craft? Can we actually upgrade any of these? We can upgrade our hammer. Oh, great. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Can we upgrade? Oh, we can upgrade our pistol.